Welcome to Let's Go. It's week two of our series, Unusual. And in this series, we're learning about King David. But this week, we're learning that God gives unexplainable joy. Have you ever experienced unexplainable joy? Do you even know what unexplainable joy is? Let's first figure out what unexplainable joy is. So there's a difference between being happy and being joyful. Being happy is if you have a balloon or if you have an ice cream, you're happy. Because you have those things that are really fun things and you can enjoy them. And so you're happy and you're smiling and maybe you're dancing around. You're happy, right? Now what happens when your balloon pops or when your ice cream melts? That makes you sad. So you can't be happy. But you can have joy in those situations. I've had very sad times in my life, hard times in my life, and it's really sad and I'm not happy. But I can have joy because joy is not based on what you have. Joy is based on God. God gives unexplainable joy. Joy that you ask, where is this coming from? Why am I so joyful in this sad situation? It's because of God. God puts that joy in your heart and it's so much better than happiness. Unexplainable joy is way better than happiness because it lasts your whole life and it doesn't depend on what you have. It's constantly there because it's from God and God never ever ever runs out. So his unexplainable joy never, 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 never runs out. This week for our Let's Go Challenge, when you're having a sad time and a hard time, don't look for happiness. Look for unexplainable joy that can only come from God. And when you experience that unexplainable joy, don't just keep it to yourself, but praise God. Put your hands up and worship God because he has given you unexplainable joy, kind of like King David had. So I will see you next week for week three of Unusual. Let's go.